Hey guys, what is up? It is Mark Howe here from Project Car. And today I'm going to show you guys how I eliminated the Z wobble on my 3D printer and got my prints from looking like this to this. Now these days, a lot of printers come pretty good out of the box for standard linear bearings. But if for some reason you have custom bearings or I don't know, there's a global pandemic affecting supply chains and derailing them, well, then you may need to resort to making your own. Now, whether you choose to 3D print your bearings out of PLA or you choose to custom machine them, either way, I am going to show you a really cool trick to get a good sliding precision fit. So stay tuned. So in my case, the terrible Z wobble in my prints was caused by the near biblical amounts of slop in the bushings. Combined with the fact that I needed more practice, I decided to machine them from scratch. So what I did was to take a large piece of nylon 6.6 and start by machining it down. Now nylon 6.6 is a really good material for making bearings out of. Um, it slides easily, it can handle pretty good loads, but I've also seen that a lot of people do have success with PLA bushings. So that's always an option still. So the nylon was really easy to machine aside from these really crazy chips and making the bushings was pretty straightforward. The only two dimensions that were really critical to me were the outer and inner diameters. So I had to take my time sneaking up on the final dimensions. Now here's the trick, these bushings were for 8mm chrome rod and so I looked for my closest undersized drill bit. In this case, that proved to be my center drill coming in at 7.94mm, pretty close to the nominal diameter of the 8mm rod. Now if you can't find a drill bit that close, don't worry, we'll get to that in the next step. So the next step to take the hole to final diameter is to cut a 30 degree flute in a scrap piece of the chromed 8mm rod or whatever rod you're trying to use. This will be to clear the chips. To create the cutting edge though, you will have to hit the side of the flute that bites with a punch. That'll raise its edge and allow it to cut the slight oversized clearance that you're going to need for a sliding fit. Don't go crazy with this step though, just a bit will be enough. As I mentioned before, if you couldn't get a close enough diameter drill, you can simply chamfer the edges of your chromed rod to act as both a drill and a reamer at the same time. Bear in mind though, depending on how deep you made that flute, you will have to retract the tool often to clear the chips. So then all I had to do was rinse and repeat three more times and then install the bushings back on the 3D printer, being careful to align everything as carefully as I could. And then these are the prints I got before and these are the prints I got after. Now I'm not going to say these prints are perfect because there is still room for improvement but the black is pretty unforgiving to any imperfections because the light definitely reflects off it a lot more. So that's it, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up to let me know and consider subscribing if you want to see more machining content, 3D printing content and general inventing. I have been Mark Howe from Project Car, out.